Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at Tesla stock and we'll be identifying technical support and resistance level, and also we'll be uh, speculating the direction based on the price action that we can expect Tesla stock making in coming days and weeks. And also, I'll be covering long term horizon of what I expect stock to do based on if certain type of patterns plays, uh, plays out based on current support and resistance levels. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos and also please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. And with that, let's begin. So from pretty much five to six days now of the trading days that Tesla has been just chopping around in this range of $185 to $200, hasn't really made any move to the upside or downside. And this is what I call like sandwiching bit between moving averages and key support and resistance level. But that's the places where I really don't take any positions on the swing side. I may do intraday trade, you know, for smaller moves. But um, if I'm not trading NVIDIA right now, I'm trading NVIDIA. Um, but as for the swing plays, I really don't like taking swing plays when the stock price is being sandwiched, right? Until and unless it's not going to pick up a direction, I really don't want to play a stock. But however, uh, based on, you know, how you would want to play certain, you know, patterns and actions will still come in fruition. And I will be covering some important support and key levels, uh, sorry, support and resistance key levels that we should be focusing and what stock price may do in coming days. Now, before even looking at the daily chart, what I want to cover is first on the five minutes chart, the price action of today's it's because it's very important. It's very different and um, it's still range bound. So as you can see, this is like from today, stock gapped up from yesterday close. However, if you notice that stock close weak, so Tesla stock price did go up, you know, came back down, go went up, came back down again, then it made higher, sorry, lower high, and then it eventually is capitulating to the downside. Now, that's being said, stock look weak, right? $197 again is acting as a resistance level. And I think this is something we can draw or take use of at the intraday level. So let's do that. And for the intraday level, I'll just distinguish using the yellow line here. So $197, give or take a few cents, is acting as a really strong resistance level on Tesla. And since it closed weaker, which means away from that resistance level to the downside, expect downside at least for coming days that you could be trading if you really you know, want to trade at, at the intraday level. So that would be you trade it back down to either this um, $185 level and or partially at 100 and you know this $91 or $188. These could be your levels to play. And the reason I'm saying that is because these have acted support in the past and $191 are good support and $188 is a good support. And then the next support level is at $185. Now, Tesla stock looking weak on the minute chart, oh sorry, five minutes chart or a minute chart, yeah. However, if we go to the daily level, something I want you guys to keep your attention on at is for the long swing play, Tesla, at least right now, what price action is showing, it's looking a little bit stronger. So what I mean by that is this 20 days and 50 days moving average crossover is going to happen soon and price has made its distance right from these moving averages. What I expect is that stock may again come back to this 20 days moving average and this, you know, 50 days moving average. And eventually it's going to bounce back up from here. $185 has proven a good support level and Tesla stock may easily very well use this moving averages as well in conjunction and may again go up even if it tests $185 again. Now that being said, this $200 level range is still you know, going to act as a resistance and that's what I'm forcing Tesla to do actually is, um, let me change the color here, is do zigzag and maybe eventually it may come so it may come back down 
test this $200 level again while 20 days moving average will be going up and so will be 50. It may come back down again, but then eventually pop back and then finally testing this 200 moving average again, where it will resist again, guys. But depending on, I feel like this $197 and $200 level will act then as a good support level as well. And that's where I'm more like, I really don't want to trade it while it's being sandwiched, right? And that's why I'm not doing any position on Tesla. I just don't like trading in the sandwiches, right? I need extensions. At least my trading style is that either stock price needs to be all above these moving averages, 20, 50, and 200, while also not very far away and closer to 200 moving average to the upside. If it's between these moving averages, 20, 50, and 200, I and a lot of resistance levels close by, I, I just don't like trading the stock at that, you know, uh, close to these price levels because it's going to be choppy, ranging, daily f having a sense of feeling of heart attacks, you know, my God, what's the stock price going to do tomorrow, right? I, I really don't want to, I don't really like trading swing around such sandwiched places. So my long play would be, as I covered in my previous video, would be if Tesla stock drops below and reaches around this gap fill of $145 or even the level of, um, if it does, $120, these would be the two areas where I might start building my position based on the price action for the long swing play to other key levels that we might have in play at that moment. And other long position I might play if it happens when the stock is over 200 days moving average, then only. So these are the two areas I like. I would look to play Tesla long. And on the short side, if Tesla breaks $186, I will look for the short position. Or if it goes up quickly and but then shows good resistance at 200 days moving average twice tested, that might be my another place to play short. But right now, it's not providing me my set of the you know technicals that I like to trade stocks in so I'm not going to touch it but this is you know how at least at the intraday level uh, the stock price could be traded is like use this $197 a good resistance because stock is looking weak right now you can see how much consolidation it went through while resisting at these $997 levels and then uh, trade you can short or trade it to the downside but only until you know 185 or 188 or 191 take prop partial profits on your bay right um, and with the stop loss stop loss definitely guys over 197 dollars for intraday trading uh, based on also like if you are you know bay where your price is it's not that you can go short at 192 but you keep your stop loss at 197 above like that's first of all is a really bad entry right $192 because your resistance is so high up but then accordingly you have to see that new resistance levels for your stop losses where you would like to put it so it's all about you know managing your risk guys that's what it's the game about you have to stay longer in the game and manage your risk and keep your profits bigger and losses smaller that's how stock trading is done profitably all right guys that was a quick video i wanted to do on tesla uh tesla is still sandwiching chopping so at least for me, I will be waiting. Um, but at the intraday level, what I covered is how that stock could be traded. None of this was for any financial advice, guys. It was only for education purposes. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe. With that, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Take care.